So this is just going to be an update to my pet room. I got a new rack and I kind of moved things around and I'm getting a few new uh, snakes. I'm going to be breeding the uh, Kenyan sand boas and the Indian smooth scale sand boas. Uh, but I'll start going around the room. On the very left rack I have my mice breeding set up. Uh, in this tub on the left I have four females with a male. Uh, in this cage I have one male with three females. And then down here I have five females who I'm just waiting to see if they're pregnant. Uh, then my pregnant females go in the bottom. And if they turn out not to be pregnant, I let them stay in here for like 10-15 days. If they turn out not to be pregnant, I put them back up top with one of the males. But if they look pregnant, they go down in here. And in this tank I currently have three females who are pregnant, pretty ready to have babies. This one looks like golf ball size. This one's pretty big as well. And then they'll have the babies in this tank. And then once the babies are big enough to wean from the mothers, put them up in this tank. And the reason why this tank is up here is to just hold the lid of my snake tank, a little bit of weight on top of it. Don't know if you can see any, but I have... Let's see if I can find any. Is that one? I think that's one. I have uh, three or four little mice in here right now. And uh, right now I have one Kenyan sand boa in here. I'm not sure if it's a male or a female, but tomorrow in the mail I'm getting another male and female about the same size like 15 to 18 inches so I'll have a male and a female and then the third one might be a male I'm hoping for a second female though and they're gonna live in there and I'm hoping to breed them and then in this tank uh, it's 20 gallon this, this tank actually used to be my sump tank for my 40 gallon tank uh, turtle tank but I removed it I'll explain why uh, but this is now gonna be for the I have a male and female Indian sand, smooth scaled sand boa coming in tomorrow. Uh, so this is going to be their tank. And then on this rack under the snakes I have my possums. My two males are on top and my two females are on bottom. And then the bottom shelf is where I'm going to put the babies. When I have babies. i got to get tubs for down there. Uh, my turtle tank, I removed the sump and the reason was with the overflow box it was at the lowest possible level and my tank water was a little higher actually it was like up where my finger is and I couldn't make the water level any lower with the overflow box so as my turtles keep getting larger they're gonna need more space at the top for uh, to be able to get out of the water so my water level I'm gonna have to be able to keep lowering over time so I had to disconnect the sump and since I was getting snakes I decided to do it now and use that tank for a snake tank instead of buying a new one. So I replaced the sump with a, a 60 gallon marine land canister filter and I used the biomedia from the sump to fill up the the holders inside the canister filters so it, it's all got the same biomedia so it didn't have to go through another uh, nitrate cycle. So that's my turtle tank, I got five turtles in there. Here's my Texas map. There's an eel in here pike cichlid. Here's the eastern painted. And the other ones are hiding somewhere. And I got my cockatiel over here. And then on this rack, on the top I have uh, this a little bit of, that's mouse and rat food. And then this is a cricket breeding. I have crickets breeding in here and adult crickets right now for feeding as well. Then I have my male hedgehog up in here. And then my two female hedgehogs. They've been getting a lot bigger since I got them. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera. Plus they're sleeping. She might not even be able to see her. really hidden in there. They're grumpy when they're sleeping so I'm going to leave her alone but they have been getting much bigger. I got them when they were about two months old and 
One of them, and it's especially, has grown about two times the size. It's the uh, cinnamon female I have in here. She's like two times the size since when I bought her. Um, so that's about it. That's how my pet room is now. And when I get the uh, new Kenyan sand boas and the Indian smooth scale sand boas tomorrow, I'll put up a new video of them.